What's up, Pisces? This is your November love reading. My name is Renee. If this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. Sometimes during the eclipse season, your rising sign may provide more message. Okay, Pisces. Oh, of course. Okay, let's see one of the, what wanted to spill out. Pisces, we have seasonal harvest. We have accept love. And we have rebirth and reinvention. Wow, okay. True Pisces nature. At the bottom of the deck, we have imagine and envision. Okay, Pisces. Let's see what else has to come out. What messages do we have for Pisces for November? In love. Okay, we have beautiful uncaging. I think a lot of doors are going to be unlocked. I think you are setting yourself free from the situation. Uncharted sea. Yeah, then this may be new waters and true Pisces, smoke and mirrors. Okay. Let's take a look. Get some more oracles. Okay, we have fear. I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. Yeah, don't be fearful of love. Pisces. Growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. True Pisces nature. And at the bottom you have death. I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. Yeah. With, I'm, you know, I noticed that with a lot of signs, this is a time for, um, basically all of the signs to go through a death and renewal. Um, there's great changes happening right now. There is total transformation going on right now. There's a lot of letting go and purging of old energy. And uh, in the place of that, new energies and new beginnings are happening at the moment. Okay, hey, what tarot do we have for Pisces? What messages do we have for Pisces spirits? Okay, we have the strength card. We have the Queen of Swords. We have the Six of Cups. We have the Three of Wands. We have the Five of Pentacles. And of course, the King of Cups.
Okay, we have the Seven of Cups. And the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Pentacles. So yes, Pisces. I feel like you're totally working on yourself, Pisces. Um, but I feel like someone is coming towards you, and this may be someone who's already in your life that's returning. They, this may be something, someone that you already know or already have in your life, someone that you went to school with maybe, someone that is coming in from your past, it doesn't have to be someone that you were romantically um, dealing with in the past, but it's someone that you know from your past. This may be a Gemini. Um, this may be a an air sign in general. It may be an Aquarius. Or it may be a cancer. Hmm. But I, yeah, I feel like someone's coming in. Someone is coming in from the past, Pisces. And I think this person is going to make you rethink what your possibilities are for the future. I feel like you've already got your future plans, but I feel like those plans are going to be changed. When this person comes through, I feel like this person brings a lot to the table. They bring, I, I feel like they, make your emotions overwhelmed. Does that make sense? Yeah, I feel like you're overwhelmed with emotion when you see this person. And it's kind of making you think of all the possibilities for the future. But I feel like I feel like even with all the options, you are willing to do all the hard work. Interesting. Pisces, with the strength card, you have the King of Wands. So I'm feeling like this person gives you unconditional love. And I feel like they are very passionate. They are very vi vivacious is what I want to say. I don't know to say vivacious. But they are very vi vi vibration. <laughs> you, you heard what I said the first time, right? With the Queen of Swords, you have the Knight of Wands. So I feel like love is going to blossom with this person very quickly. I feel like maybe this is someone that you had a crush on in the past. It may, may not be some. I'm not feeling that you were in a relationship with them in the past. But I'm feeling like maybe you had a crush on them in the past. And um, now you've seen them. Now they kind of grown <laughs> into this very vivacious person. And, you know, forgive me, but I feel like this person is very sexual, very um, passionate. With the Six of Cups, we have the Judgment. So, yeah, I feel like this is someone who 
has kind of renewed your inhibitions for love. They, they've renewed your feelings towards love. They have given you a total awakening. And, you know, even though you had plans for the future, you had your plans all set out. Look at this. You have the tower in reverse. Those plans are now null and void. Those plans, because they didn't include this person, they're not going to happen. Now, of course, you have free will. This is something that you can change. But your, your new future is actually going to include this person. Your new future is surrounded by this person. This page of swords. This person who is this new love, this, it may be someone that you went to college with. It may be someone who you studied with. Hmm. And with the King of Cups, you have the Ace of Swords. So that's going to bring you into this, aha, new ideas, new, new clarity on the situation. It's going to Man, I never felt like I could feel like this. I'm, I'm feeling a new excitement, a new energy, a new vibration. That's what I'm feeling. Yeah, this person, from the Seven of Cups, you have the Six of Wands. So this person is going to... They're going to be your spotlight. They are, they're bringing you good news. They are your reward. I don't like to place someone as a reward, but yeah, I, I feel like with this person, you have a total victory. This is your reward. This is your recognition. You're getting good news that you've been waiting for for a while. And this is something that you weren't expecting. And with the Seven of Pentacles, you have the Seven of Wands. So yeah, this person, this person is here to provide you with stability. Protection. This person makes you feel protected. That's what I was getting at. This person makes you feel protected. They make you feel safe. They make you feel like the future that you planned on is now brighter. The future that you've been waiting for the choices that you made um, are now coming to you. This may be someone that you go on a trip with. You also end this reading with the world. So this is the end of a cycle. This is the beginning of a new adventure. This is the Ace of Cups. This is your true love moment. Wow. Okay, Pisces, let's go ahead and get some monology cards to end this reading. Spirit, can I have some cards to end the love reading for Pisces? What is it that they need to know? What is their advice? <laughs> Take time to breathe out. Yeah, I think this is going to be moving pretty fast. Um, so fast that you're going to feel like you're out of breath. But it's going to be in a good way. I feel like it's going to leave you exuberated.
is going to be a time to give rather than take. New moon in Virgo. So I think that you're going to be giving your all to this situation. Okay. And new moon in Aries. It's time to take action. All right. And meditate and contemplate. New moon in Pisces. All right. Yeah, you're showing up, Pisces. All right, that is your reading, Pisces. If this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. Um, all right, Pisces. Many blessings to you. Love and light.